I feel like I can't. Oh. Oh, that just went. Thank you. Oh, Annabelle wants to talk. It's important. Okay. <coughs> I hope she's okay. Oh. Thank you. Hello. <coughs> but um, I wanted to talk to you about something kind of important a little bit. Okay. Um, I might have Cinder leave for a second because it's really not something he should be hearing. Okay. Do you want to get in a group? Yeah, we can get in a group. Are you okay? Yeah, sorry. I'm just not. I'm feeling a little under the weather. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Are you feeling better? I'm feeling as good as I can feel right now. I've been a little bit more active today because I've had the kids around me, but <coughs> yeah. it's good for me to get up and move, so. That's good. Mm -hmm. But okay, um, I'm going to make your group. <coughs> oh, okay. I was about to mess miss of you, I didn't know if you knew it, but, um... It's really... There's two major things. I Do you want, like, annoying kind of news right now, or... Um, are you up for that? <coughs> yeah, sorry. Sorry for all the coughing. Um, you can tell me anything. Okay. Um, I was made aware by Max of a couple of things. One, I'm slightly mad about. Okay. And I'm only slightly because I already yelled at Kaya. Um, I'm going to get the v annoying one out of the way. Max made me aware that you and Kaya did something that you shouldn't have done. Mm-hmm. And that is... You went into the Cloud Kingdom in Stratus. You went into Rain's bedroom and you stole a warden egg. And this is information that Max is saying? Yes. I found out through Max. I am assuming Kaya told Max... I see. And when I confronted Kaya about it, Kaya acted like it wasn't a big deal. When Max told me the punishment for that is execution. Okay. 
I'm aware. Mm hmm You know, when you were princess, you could hide your own... You could hide your own illegal activities. Because believe me, I know some things that you did while you were princess, and I know that they all weren't 100% above table, if that makes sense, but... <clears throat> but with me acting... I I can't I don't what do you want me to do? Do you want me to try and if they find out, do you want me to cover it up? Do what do you want me to do? Do you want me to let them find out? Like I'm willing to cover it up. I don't know how I can do that. But I I don't know what I don't you have to cover. Are you worried that Max hmm. will say something? I am worried that someone will find out. I'm not too worried about that. That was um, over a month ago, so if they would have found out, they would have found out by now. If they do find out, though, then it's... Execute... Why did you guys even think about doing that? What was the motive behind it? Why? Actually, Kaya was not supposed to come with me. Um, she just happened to accidentally telepass to me mid my mission, and... I <clears throat> you know she didn't want me to be by myself doing it so I didn't push for her to leave I could have and that's on me but this is something that I've been doing for a while now for Morgan for Morgan on behalf of the nether kingdom yes So why did they want the warden egg? So it couldn't be used against them? That was not something that I knew was there. I didn't... I would. It was just... It wasn't placed in a high security area. It was, it was very easily found. I was not expecting to find that. In fact, I was just looking for contraband. Contraband from the nether? Correct. That's all I was searching okay. for. That's just... I check on that, and I check on any other suspicious persons, um, such as past Cola and mm. Aspen. I just... It makes me nervous, knowing that that's something that you did, and that it's something that could get you in a lot of trouble after everything <laughs> and yes I see I made a mistake it makes me nervous trusting Kaya on that specific mission I didn't think she would share that information I, I don't know how Max knows I'm assuming it's because Kaya had told Max Max knows a lot of things Max should not know because Kaya has just told him especially things about Amara mm. and he knows about her and I willingly I had explained a lot of Amara to Max because he knew of her already because of Kaya and that kind of leads me into another issue of Audrey not Audrey herself is an issue but maybe I don't know do you know about Lucky um I know that's her proper fish right okay so this is the way that it was explained to me by Max Max told me about this because something happened with Lucita and Audrey so Apparently, this is all because of the twin curse and another curse. I don't know what's happening. Um, I don't think the twin curse has the ability to do something like this. Maybe it's different because it, we know... Maybe it's different. Um, but... Apparently, Lucky is an entity that is possessing a pufferfish that is possessing 
Audrey. And Lucita made a joke stating that she was going to take Lucky and cook him and eat him. Oh boy. Or something along those lines. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, and then Audrey got mad at Lucita for that. Understandable. But then Audrey took it too far. And when they were in the Elven Kingdom... And this is why I was told about this, because this incident happening in the Elven Kingdom, apparently. Hit Lucita, and then proceeded to pull out a axe and threaten Lucita with it. And then a separate issue, not a separate issue, relating still. Apparently, at some point... I don't know if Audrey was warned not to do that or was or anything like that. I, I don't know. I don't know if Marina disciplined the child at all, but apparently later, like, I don't know if it was like a day later or later that day or whatever. Audrey came, went to the Winter Kingdom and had a diamond axe and had attempted to hurt Lucita in a more permanent way and apparently hit Lucita twice with a diamond axe. Um, and Audrey was banned from the Winter Kingdom from what Max told me. And Audrey is in mermaid prison. They put a child in prison? Apparently because the entity is possessing Audrey. I see. I They think it, it has something to do with the twin curse. I don't know if the twin curse has the ability to do something like that. I don't think it has the ability to create an entity. It's the vault. Oh, okay. Um, but I... I don't know. There is also that the something that he called the half and half curse. Who? Um, that lucky? Yeah, exactly. No, like, okay, so it's another curse, apparently, that some of the children have that... Like, it's the one with uh, Charlotte and Yumiko. They... Because they were both born of mermaid and then elven parents, and so they're born of two different origins, so at some way that is a curse, if someone is born of two different I don't know um I don't know my children don't have that my children are fine they don't exhibit any signs of curses or wanting to hurt people with axes but it's possible that I mean I don't know how curses work but if it's a blood curse because it's put on a family line and Anthony's tied to it somehow and they're his children Well, I, don't I don't know enough about curses. I don't know. But... I mean... Who knows? I don't know. Or it could just be a demon possessing... You know... The pufferfish. Mm -hmm. She got a hold of it. And now... It's making... Her do terrible things. Like any demonic possession would yeah and apparently max also told me that that anthony came to marina in a dream because they took the puffer fish away from audrey when she went in jail and or at some point and anthony came to Mar either marina or asher and I don't know which one, Max wasn't clear, in a dream and said to give Lucky back to Audrey. I don't know about you. That doesn't sound anything like Anthony to me. Hmm. If, in my opinion, if Anthony were alive and he were here, he would have disciplined that child long before it ever escalated to the situation. Yeah. I don't think Anthony would allow I don't know. I I just don't think that sounds like Anthony 
mm-hmm. but also it could it could be the reality. I don't know because I am not experiencing these things. I'm being told these things secondhand, and it concerns me. And it concerns me for my own children's safety and Audrey being here in the Elven Kingdom, around my children. Yeah, and around other children. So, if something happens to my children. If she goes after one of them, or something happens to one of them at her hands, be it a demon possessing her or not, I, I can't say that I won't take action. I understand she's four, but... And you're telling me this because you want to make me feel better because I've also done illegal things? No, I'm just telling you to make you aware of Audrey. Okay. So that way you know, and so that way you have the knowledge of this is what's happening with Audrey. If something happens, I'm not going to not act. I see. I just wanted to make you aware, and I just wanted to make you aware that these things are happening. Because I don't know if you want to continue doing school or anything like that. No, I don't plan on going back to the school. Okay. But that's what has been going on. I also wanted to tell you because of the twin curse, and I don't know, and you've experienced it firsthand. I haven't, and I don't know if that sounds like anything you would. I've never experienced anything like possession, but it does. To be honest, I don't even know it. A lot of people have said that maybe it's in my head. And sometimes I believe them and sometimes I don't know if that's the curse itself is a voice in my head telling me that I need to not exist in this world, putting myself in dangerous situations, not valuing Mm -hmm. my life because it wants me to die. So even I don't know if it's causing everyone around me to die or disappear or if that's just coincidence and then the curse itself is telling me this is why you need to die is because Mm -hmm. of the longer I'm alive everyone else dies so I'm at least that Mm -hmm. aware self aware about that but um I haven't experienced any like major possession it just it does feel like a voice in my head when anything goes wrong it feels like my fault even when it's not Mm -hmm. and it just keeps telling me that it's my fault Mm -hmm. yeah that i i understand yeah so it could be that or it just could be something else and the child is interpreting it way different but I mean it could be I never experienced anything as a child I only experienced things once I came here once I met Maholia for the first time Mm -hmm. that's when everything changed and I don't know if it's because we got closer together or if your mother noticed that I was back I don't I'm not sure I don't know what started it but it did not Mm -hmm. start when I was a child so I don't have any experience with that that's understandable but that's all that I wanted to speak with you on I don't know I I also don't want to try and like overwhelm you with like a lot of information because I know you just got back back and I, that's why I asked if you were okay with hearing it beforehand, so. Well, were you going to scold me anyways? <laughs> if you weren't up to having a conversation like that, then no, I wasn't going to scold you because I know a lot of things have been happening. But also I'm not happy about the fact that it happened and the fact that I didn't know and that you and Kaya put yourselves in danger and. Well, it wasn't supposed to be something that I share with anybody. Morgan doesn't even want me to t- to tell her details of what I'm doing. She just wants me to share information if I find any. Yep. 
That's understandable, but... Yeah. Uh, if there's anything that you need or anything that I can do, then let me know. I'm not 100%, but I have been walking around a lot today and talking with people and stuff like that, so... Well, I'm glad you're feeling better. I'm feeling... I'm not feeling better, but I am... Can't stay in the room anymore. <laughs> I am going stir crazy in the room. I need to be out. I need to be doing things, so... Yeah. I am out and about. So... Um, well, also, don't push you yourself want, like... too hard. Yeah. Yeah, I am gonna try not to, but... If you want something good to hear, Willow asked Cinder to the kids' ball. And Cinder said that he would go as a partner with her, or them. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Yeah, it's cute. And then, you know, Willow gave Cinder a little present, and it was adorable. Oh. Yeah. So I guess that's one good- that's- that's- that's a good thing that came out of today. <laughs> Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. But, like I said, if there's anything you need, let me know. Okay, I will. I hope I didn't interrupt anything that you were doing. I'm but... working on decorating the cathedral. Oh, okay. I might stop by later and check it out then. Okay. So far, I've done nothing but <laughs> take things down, so... <laughs> That's it's just fair. looking empty in there. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fair. That's fair, but I'll let you get back to it then. Okay. I don't like
are in our radius. Fine. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. Are you adding windows? <laughs> yeah, no, the windows are here. Wow. Yeah, you can open it Good job. Okay. Just like a mom. Just a big daughter. <laughs> Okay, this doesn't look suspicious at all. Kaya, you told Max? Why? I trusted you. you I don't want to burden you with my feelings. So. What do you mean burden you with? What are you talking? So you felt like you couldn't come talk to me, so you talked to Max? We were friends. I thought so too, but... I don't know. I'm sorry. I... Didn't think you'd understand. Well, did you think that Max would tell Annabelle? No. There's... A lot of things I told Matt that he hasn't told anyone. You put you put both of our lives in danger by telling Max. I understand that he's your friend. But that information also puts my life in danger. And I trusted you with my life. I trusted you with that information. <sighs> Give me my telepass.
Why are you idiot? I really can't trust anyone. I was a fool to trust Kaya. I was a fool to trust her. You were right. And I should have listened to you. I'm sorry. I can't trust anyone now. I can't trust anyone anymore. I can't tell them what I'm doing. I will talk to nobody. Only Morgan. <sighs> I promised I would help with the cathedral though. And I intend to keep that promise. But after that, I'm going to keep myself scarce. Back to hiding again, it seems like. It's like five years ago all over again. Oh goodness. Karma needs something. I can only imagine. 
if she's gotten wind of what Can be yelled at karma. I yelled at by karma too. We just, I feel like I, I say I'm available, but I keep getting interrupted. can only imagine what this is about. Yes. Um, to start with, on the off chance you are aware of it, and it's potentially something that was authorized by Morgan, do you know about this portal being here? Um, no. I... I actually don't. Okay. I figured it was a long shot, but... If it was something that knowledge that you two shared, I figured it would be the best to at least inquire about it, especially since it is right behind the castle. Mm. Past that netherrack is the palace. Have you tried going to the other side? Um, we have not yet. I wanted to wait until I asked you about it first. Um, the idea I've kind of thought of is if it is potentially trapped on the other side to have someone waiting at the Elven Waystone so they, the person going through the portal can telepath out quickly. Okay. Well, it should... It's just... It should still be protected with these... This area right here so you won't suffocate. But yeah, you might get stuck. You won't be able to come back through the portal. But you shouldn't be. You shouldn't suffocate. And if I use a totem, then there's less of a worry. About a second, just on the odd chance. I'm just really concerned about the fact it's so close to the castle and where our portal's located. Was that staircase that made by is, you? This is Fang's pit. Um, I don't know if he built the staircase or not, but he dug out a pit to Bedrock years ago. Oh. And I have not really come behind the castle any time recently. Mm. Um, it was actually Florian who was exploring around the castle that found this and came to me to show me what they found, luckily. Oh. Well, I have a few suspicions, but I guess... Right now, I suspect well, my someone who dead. is dead. Yes. Um, I'm suspecting Aspen because during... During the whole Cola, Aspen, and Colt incident, Aspen had hinted to the fact that he was in the nether. Um, not sure how much we believe that he actually was or not, but... I see. I mean, it could be that, but with it being so close to our portal, I feel like this should deposit us near the Elven Kingdom, not near the winter. If I remember correctly, um, so the castle is the 
Elven Kingdom. I believe farther that direction is the Mermaid Kingdom. So, so it may be linked to the Mermaid It's place. possible that it's it's could be possible that it's somewhere in between the Elven Kingdom and the Mermaid Kingdom. But I don't know for sure. Yeah, I was kind of just guesstimating where it might deliver us at. Because, like, I was thinking of Aspen, but I'm like, this just, this location doesn't make sense for Aspen. Yeah, um, in fact, it's so close to the Nether Kingdom. Or it's so close to the Elven Kingdom. It has to be somewhere in between those two places. I don't think it would reach, maybe, maybe the outskirts of the Winter Kingdom. But we don't know, Aspen mm -hmm. could have been at a random place. True. I don't remember exactly where Aspen started their flee from to know where they may have headed. Do you know Lucario? Not to my Okay. After he broke Cole out, I had no sight of him. And even mm. then, we had no sight of Aspen. Okay. Well, it looks like you're willing to go through it. I can wait at the other side. I've got Karma's telepath. I don't know. I don't have yours. That's the only thing. Okay. Mm. Well, then I can go with you. I, I don't feel... I... I... I'm sorry I say this, Lucario, that because this is dangerous, but I don't want to put two people in danger due to it. I don't have a warp stone on me at the moment, though, so I can't get to the Elden Waystone. Thank you. I will be waiting there, and just send me a missive when you're through, if it's something I can telepass over to you um, for. Wait, so did she confirm or deny that we're going together? Uh, I don't think she wants both of us to go. Okay, so I just... Alright, I'll just be here, I guess. Okay, I'm going to. Okay. Well, I was right about my placement. <laughs> yeah, it is between, I don't know if I could classify this as between Elven and Mermaid. This it's definitely like Elven Kingdom. <laughs> so it was built from oh. inside. Well, it's possible. Actually, it is entirely they possible. They built it here and then broke it potentially. Mm hmm. Or somewhere around here it was built. Because if they mm -hmm. broke it and then it made a new one, it can go into a different location. That just feels really odd. 
unless during the elven nether portal construction maybe it generated the one behind the castle and we relinked it to our nether portal potentially and then we just never I'm curious yeah, we just never got broken mm. Didn't you say that Cola was in the someone was in the Elven prison and then escaped? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had put Cola but in there and we then were... Aspen had telepath to our knowledge and then broke him out. Okay. So but the like, thing is, on. when that prison break happened, we knew of it instantly because we were on the floor above him, and as soon I as see. we heard the telepath out, we ran and. While they dealt with Cola, I was actually on the pier. Okay. So I, I feel like I would have seen. seen if they built one. And destroyed it. Unless they did it while no one was around. Mm. Earlier. I don't know. Kind of crazy. I, I don't know if I should feel relieved at the fact this didn't lead somewhere or more assessed out. I feel like it would be more comforting if it just the I'm sorry, relief it wasn't a trap, home. though. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. am glad it's not a trap. Hmm. I don't know. But maybe this means we should start looking for other ones just in case. Mm hmm. I know when we originally scour. found Cola's first portal they had made years ago, mm -hmm. I think he said he had plans to make others. But I don't know if those were ever made and they could have been made like years in the end at this point. Hmm. And But his portals would have been made within the overworld and unless he stepped through them, mm -hmm. we would never see trace of, of them in the nether. I guess, I mean, someone in the nether could have built the portal, but I don't understand why, unless it was someone who wasn't supposed to be there. Mm -hmm. And then they came through on this side and broke the portal and fled. And it was so but close. Oh, to get out? Oh. Yes, but that sounds like a lot more work than just having a warp stone. Yeah, because you can just warp to stone to any of the kingdom. Mm hmm mm Hmm. hmm. Back, by the way. Okay. This has left me very confused. I am equally so. Yeah. I. Yeah, unfortunately, don't have any information on why. I kind of want to dig down. Do I don't know if there, it would. Well, I feel if there was a portal below here it would have put us it, in that portal though right unless it was broken it could it could be i mean we could check the tower over there we could check the spa it could be anywhere underground within mm -hmm. are you aware of any cave networks underneath the elven kingdom or um there is a large one but it's more towards um the birch tree forest. But I'm curious. I'm going to check the spot real quick. Okay, I'm going to dig down a bit here.
No. I don't know how far they're planning to dig. Oh boy. She's really far <laughs> down there. I don't think there's anything under it though. I have a feeling it wouldn't spawn directly underneath. I think it tries to find a surface level when you. because it knows it doesn't want to mm -hmm. be underground. So I think. I think the most probable thing. Is that someone built one from inside the nether. And then, and then came out and then destroyed this one. Mm -hmm. Because it would, or, I mean, it would be more tedious. But they could have made this one, went in, came back through the portal, and then destroyed it. But I feel like... I mean, the only people we know who have access to the nether, because they wouldn't just build one out here in the open if they think thought they were going to get caught. No, they would have built it hidden. Mm -hmm. So I think it's most likely that it was built inside the nether. And then they went through it and destroyed it on the outside. Yeah. I went all the way. I didn't go all the way to Bedrock. I went pretty close. And there was one cave, but it didn't have any traces of anyone coming across it. It was just empty. Yeah. It's possible it was Aspen. It's possible it was... A netherian. I guess we'll just have to keep our eyes and ears open. Maybe I can ask Sparrow about it, or Lucari, you could ask Sparrow about it. I could ask both her and or Sparrow and Lillian. I highly doubt Lillian would do it, but yeah, Lillian would probably I... say something. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't think Lillian would have done it, and I can't really imagine the kids doing it because why well, they are rambunctious. If I tell them not to do something, they don't do it. Yeah. It was my children, I, but I don't think you. I assume your children wouldn't go to either. Have. Yeah, they have access. I feel like someone. They both got warp zones, so they can just go in and out of another. Area. Yeah. What's strange is that. Like, yeah, why not just use a warp stone? So maybe someone who does not have a warp stone. I know my children don't as a safety precaution because I don't want them to just warp stone to other kingdoms without proper means. Yeah. But Florian is the one that showed me the portal to begin with. And was like, mm -hmm. this is bad, right? I'm like, um, yes, these aren't supposed to um, exist outside the ones we have. Hmm. And then Cinder has only recently gone back to the kingdom. Well, whatever it is, I don't like it. I didn't no, lie. not at all. Because I don't think this was an accident. 
because then there would have been a portal somewhere randomly over here that someone would have seen. Mm -hmm. And I. And they would I have don't know said if this something. Maybe someone trying to frame the elves or to try to tarnish relationships between the two since it's in the Elven Kingdom. Because I don't. No, I don't. I can't. I don't see the elves. I don't personally talk to many of the elves commoners too much, but I still don't foresee them building a portal. Yeah. They wouldn't. I, w I would be shocked that this would be something to frame someone. I don't think they knew. I think that portal on the inside, they built it not knowing it would come to the Elven Kingdom. I think you were kind of right in your guess that maybe they were make trying to make a quick escape. Or it's someone who didn't have a waystone, didn't want to come back to the castle, and just decided to build a portal. But then they would have had the materials on them, ready to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there, yeah, there might be another portal somewhere if they got into another one way mm -hmm. and just didn't leave through their created portal. Yeah. But I can understand if they are sneaking about, not wanting to go to a high traffic area like. I do know where one portal wisdom. existed in the past. I, know, I don't know if it ever was rebuilt. That was this portal, it, wasn't it, it? Yeah. It was inside his house. I don't- we- I think I aware- I know of the location in the nether side. I never went to the overworld side. There's a- Yeah. I know where it is in the overworld. Um... I don't know if- he rebuilt it after I destroyed it the first time. Because that portal is in the same direction as Ziff's, which it makes sense because the, El the Mermaid Kingdom's that way. His, mm -hmm. his portal was just in the nether farther that direction. And I think even to the right more. Because I was with Morgan when we found it originally um, on the nether side. If you want, I can go swimming and go check real quick. See if it's still there. Okay, I can see if I can find it in the nether there side. Option. I just gotta find the right tunnel. Oh, yeah, unfortunately, I lost my map data for the nether, so I don't have it waystoned, waypointed anymore. But I do know that there was a long, yeah, a long strip mine, and then it's off that strip mine. Mm-hmm. I don't have it waypointed either, but I feel like I know where the strip mine is. Okay. All right, then I'll meet and you if there. If anything, I don't find it. Yeah, hopefully okay. if I can find it. Okay. I'll give you a head start. I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna get my warp stones and my water. Are there, oh, Marina's on. Remember how it was accessed? It was above. But where?
out there. Okay. Hmm. Honestly, finding the portals in the nether will be easier than finding them in the overworld. Anything. So this is the Elven Kingdom. Or there's the Mermaid Kingdom. So winter would be over here. And Seraph Kingdom would be over here. Not even very far. If someone happened to build a portal. at the end. I'm thinking I'm trying to find the right strip mine. I don't think there's any dirt ball. I went the right direction. But it wasn't supposed to work like this. No, it... Hmm. I forget where it is, to be honest. <laughs> oh my goodness, there are so many. I don't remember it, jungle. Oop, oop, poisoned. I gotta be careful.
is this room? Oh, nothing. No. I don't remember where it is from here, to be honest. <coughs> That's the way back. Okay. Karma said she's going to the nether castle. Lucario like kind of resembled the terrain however it just it just wasn't it okay it was confusing as well I remember when did you go this way when you started mm -hmm. okay yeah. hmm well if we want we could head in that direction to see if there are any portals from the Winter Kingdom side. True. You know what? Let me just uh, get a fire and some. Oh, wait, I do have one. I my hot bar. I have a few fire resistant potions on me as well. Just don't have one on me, just. Just in case. I did get poisoned earlier and that was terrifying. Oh. What do you have a totem just in case? I do have a totem. Yeah, I'll hold on to it. I have three in fact. Um. When I went looking with Morgan, we flew initially. We didn't go straight to it. Yeah. I remember she said she would fly and then I could TP to her. So I don't even remember where where she went from this direction. I just oh. remember it was surrounded by like wood and we like lava trapped it so anyone that would come through it would just die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, on the mermaid side, it doesn't it's not in his house anymore. I'm wondering... I don't think the castle extends far enough back for the renovations to have covered the strip mine. Um... Oh. I don't know. Oh, I see it. I see the strip mine. Oh. Um. Okay, I don't. I just don't know how to get over there. I don't know how to share a waypoint without sharing to everyone. this plan. The one time that I wish I had wings. That's better. <laughs> um, so I see it. Um, I just don't know how to get to it. 
Where can I telepass to you? I don't have, like, I see it on my map. Oh. Um, I don't know how to get over there or share a way. I can, let me do this, actually. I'll just share a screenshot. Do, 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 do. I wonder if you can see what I'm talking about. But do you... Uh, let me zoom in a little bit. Do you see that? Like, um, behind the warped forest, there's like a, it, you can see some, a strip of lava. Yes, I do see that one, yours. Um, I believe that's the area where it is. And I'm currently standing at the castle. Okay. Um. So it's directly behind it. I am very close to there. I could probably mine to it. Just on a strip mine yard, I'm at, so this might be. I think this is going to be in the far over strip there. Mines in the at this point. Yeah, nope. partially my fault. I go looking for more warped trees. Okay, actually, I don't think that's it because I passed that area rather quickly and I know the trip to the portal took significantly longer. Okay. I have another area on my map that I'm looking you know, at. Lee, do we check. think this portal would have anything to do with the other one? I think we'd just check to see if there's another one around it potentially. Oh, what five years does to your memory? Truly. Are you safe to teleport to? Yes, I am. Okay. Morgan maybe covered the way to the portal up, do you? To keep them from easily getting to the castle? I don't know. That's just so long ago, it's like... Mm -hmm. Hmm, 
this stuff. I will have the BRB real quick. Okay. okay. I believe I'm near where you thought it may have been on the map. But yeah, I don't... see anything nearby me. I'm questioning if maybe it felt longer when I initially went with Morgan to it because we were locating it. So we may have not have really gone in a straight line. I don't think it's an exact straight line. I think there was a moment that it was a switch, but I can't, but I don't think it was like too big of a switch. Like you didn't have to like go through any different biomes or anything. I was thinking there was a part where, like, you had to kind of detour around a lava pool. But that might be wrong. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. I, there's a mushroom biome near here, and I don't remember ever walking through this. Oh, wait, biome. I... Hold on. This looks really familiar. Oh, I think I found something really familiar. Uh, can I telepass? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This was where me and Lucario were. But from my memory, it oh, was it's over open. here. Open. Oh. Well. I think. I'm pretty sure it was over well, here. No, this is. Because there was a fake wall that led into a... Oh, yep, fake wall that led into a room. Okay. Oh, and this is below it? Or above it? Mm-hmm. They said they lava trapped it. Let me make... No, I think... Okay, so me and Lucario did find it, we just didn't mine into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, it so doesn't look like it's, that's been used at all. It's hard without evidence, even if we looked at everyone's inventory, just because they have obsidian in their inventory doesn't mean they weren't mining or something. I'm gonna do a 
a lap around the castle to see if there's any more portals nearby it. do a lap of the castle to my royal duties like once every other day might not be a half bad I idea feel like i should have i sh feel like we should have seen a yep. portal right behind the yeah. throne That was a terrifying sound. I did not like that. question yeah when building a portal from the overworld does the height in the overworld correlate with the height in the nether or no I, I don't think it does i think maybe when the portal is initially built but as long as the like x and z coordinates are close enough to what corresponds correctly to the nether side i don't think the y matters okay because another portal built on the nether roof for example wouldn't mean the portal in the overworld would be in the sky I've been struggling just to get back to um, the portal flooring showed me. It's more so under the castle is what I realized, I think. Did you guys find this, manage to find the portal? Or yeah, we did. Yeah. It was just behind regular. It was replaced Are from you a at fake. It right now? No, we left. There's nothing there. Yeah, it was that little ravine you found, Lucario. Um, mm. But. Instead of having the fake wall at the end, it was just covered in another act. I'm currently searching in where the Winter Kingdom would be to see if there's any portals. Get this? 
Where are you guys at right now? I'm not with Karma right now. Okay. Okay, so the portal is under the renovated castle, portion of the castle. Okay. So I think this is almost pretty much underneath the throne room. Oh. That's why I was having issues finding it. Makes it make sense. The one in the Elven Kingdom was removed, right? From my old office. Yes, I broke it down. Okay. okay. Oh, from your old office. Um, I believe it would have been. I didn't find anything. Mm -hmm. I'm like feeling like I have to just wait until something else happens. But I don't want to do that at the same time. I do now see why this portal wasn't discovered sooner. It's quite literally entombed. Above it hmm. is the castle. And then there's... And it's not easy to get to? Oh. Um, I had to mine to get here. Then maybe it wasn't up. used from... Oh, I don't know. Unless this is like a five year old portal. I don't think it would be. We would have noticed it during renovations. Yeah, this is this area is entirely enclosed. The only way to get to this portal is through mining. Well then how how did Florian find it? Florian was mining around, looking for quartz. I see. Hmm. So now it's pointing more towards that it was an overworld portal. And then... And maybe they came back through that same portal and then destroyed the overworld one. Mm -hmm. Especially since this area is very much... Just not a great place to enter the nether from. Mm -hmm. Is there a way to enter from the bottom? No, it's, yeah, I know it's completely enclosed. Even when I swim through the lava.
No, I just went even further up where I thought there might be an exit point. And I am once again staring at the floor of the castle. Hmm. Well, I think unless we get a confession or we find some other evidence of it being someone in the overworld, we're probably not going to find out who did it unless it happens again. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start patrolling around the areas of the castle, I guess. Um... Make sure no new portals spawn. Though I do feel like crafting a portal right by the castle isn't exactly a little the like... most sneaky endeavor. Well, and it's possible so it did know... move if it was destroyed on the overworld part. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it would come back in the same exact spot. But yeah, that would be very like bold. A fear tactic, or like to distract us. But I feel like we don't really need to be distracted right now. We have enough going on. Yeah. Yeah, that was okay. Well, thank you for helping me look around. I was hoping we would get more substantial evidence regarding it. Mm hmm Well, I'm sure whoever did it wanted to cover their tracks. So, like, proper track coverage would have been breaking the nether side as well and way stoning out. True. The thing is, it could all just be what happened and then we're all plotting, but like, there, it could also just be someone else that we have no clue and trying something. Yeah, someone who's not on our radar. Yeah. It's very possible. True. I don't like the timing of it, but it also might just be that this is a decently old portal post-construction and we're just discovering it. Yeah. The situation is giving me a bit of a headache, so I think I'm going to return to the lab and check on Florian um, and remind them to not touch the portal. Okay. Are you going to leave it there? Uh, I should break it. At the Even same time, if they build another one in a similar spot, it's going to make them go under the castle again. You could trap it. La yeah, lava trap it. Yeah.
All right, well, I'll keep my eyes and ears open, and if I find any information relating to it, I'll let you know. I will do the same. I appreciate that. Yeah, both I of y'all need me for anything, but send me a missive. Okay, sounds good. That is a bit disconcerting. Oh, I wanted to check if it there's the whole underground of Evergreen or this area. We it would be very easy to hear another portal from very far away. I'm just curious. Oh, is this a prison? <gasps> it is. Well, that's a fairly easy escape. And a fairly easy way to break in. Don't put anybody in cell number two. I said they broke out. <laughs> I swear if it was cell number two. Oh my goodness. Okay, so wait, hold on. That's kind of... You know what? Where is it? There's the other side too. So it's not just that cell. It's probably all the cells have a way to escape. Okay, now this one. <gasps> oh shoot, this door is locked. Well, I can just... Sorry, I uh, I don't know. Okay. Cause it's possible if they got under here and made a portal while no one was around no one would have known oh, i don't like the problem the prisons blocking this entrance though and i don't like how the entrance is going straight to the prison hmm don't know I really wanted to just concentrate on more, but this... Oh. Hello.
Go inside. Okay. Hello. Max, why the hell would you tell Annabelle about about what Kaya did? Because she why would you do? Princess? But why? Why would you put her life at risk? Do you care about Kaya at all? Obviously. Are you sure? I told. Yes, I told Annabelle as a friend because I didn't want Kai to be executed by the Sarahs because of the Well, guess what? She's her. definitely getting executed now. By who? Annabelle plans to do it. Sorry? What she plans. What do you mean? I don't know how much you know about everything, but she plans to do it, and she plans to do it especially sooner rather than later, now that she knows more information. What? About not to trust Kaya. And I was trying so hard to keep Kaya alive. Sorry. And you had to go and ruin it. I think Annabelle would execute Kaya. Oh no, she will. Did you know that five years ago, I had to beg for Kaya's life? I'm aware. She wants to... Soon? When? I can't... I don't know if you know anything. I can't tell you, but I'm just... About Amara? Like, uh, over the Amara stuff? You do know about that, then. So she does yeah, tell you everything. Yeah, I showed us something yesterday about it. Well, not everything. She, I don't really ask about the um, Amara stuff because I don't want to know of that shit. But, sorry, Kai is getting executed, even though she's double agent, agent and risking her life for Annabelle. Huh? Kai is actively risking her life for Annabelle, and Annabelle still wants to execute her. It's more complicated than that. How? <sighs> well, you just made it worse, didn't you? I didn't know I was gonna make it worse. Annabelle's my friend. I thought I could trust her to not, you know, execute my best friend. Well, you knew that she felt this way about Kaya five years ago. Yeah, five years ago. I thought she'd be over it by now. No, like, yeah, no, I she wasn't. guess kidnapping her was a bit fair, but, like, it's been five years. Yeah, five years that I've bought. I didn't know that. Well, now I'm here telling you, and if you care about Kaya or her life, then you'll hear me out for what I have to say next. I have a plan. And I don't want anyone else to know about it. In fact, I'm okay. too worried to, to talk about it here. Out loud. What? I'm also worried to get in a group with you. I don't know how that'll look if anyone discovers. Yeah. But if I... Sure, the end. If you want to talk and you want to be private without suspicious, no one really goes to the end. Then let's do that. Okay. I think I have the waystone to your house. Oh, yeah, really. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go down there.
bit of water in here. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I know this is partially my fault. No, it's entirely my fault. I just, I didn't, I didn't expect Kaya to tell you. I asked her explicitly not to tell you, and I was not expecting her to betray my request. I was also not expecting to hear anything about Kaya breaking the actual law. That's why nobody was supposed to find out about this. This was supposed to be something we took to our graves. <sighs> I figured as much. I knew once Annabelle knew that it would spread eventually. Not that I don't trust Annabelle, but... <sighs> plan to take back the Elven Throne. Oh. For several reasons. I'm not going to disclose all the reasons. But if I... Can you disclose some of them? <sighs> the main reason was to draw Amara so that we can trap her and throw her in jail. Although that plan got scrapped, Morgan didn't want me to put my life in danger. But she's not here right now. And frankly, I don't feel like I have any other choice. Why? I don't know how else to save Kaya's life. Are you sure Annabelle is going to execute her? Positive. Okay. What's up, Carmen? I need to talk to the Elven Knights. I know they might take my side, they might have questions, but they don't know Annabelle as much as they knew me. I need you to take my side as well, the night of the ball. And you'll save Kaya? I'll try my best. And if I can't... Then you're free to throw me in whatever jail I'm fit for. I can't take one more person I care about leaving me. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I... <sighs> I sit by and I watch the people I love get torn from me and I'm done just sitting there and watching it happen. This time I'm taking action. This time I will ensure that Kaya will stay alive. I assume you don't plan to give back the throne then. Annabelle won't be happy. I'm aware of that. Maybe in a... At another time... I can explain everything to her. My brother is my friend. But Kaya is my family and... I don't... 
want to be there or even another person. I love dive. So you have my support. Thank you. And just by the way, if you decide last minute to not support me, it does mean Kaya's death. There is nothing I won't do to make sure Kaya stays alive. Okay. I'm sorry to have dragged you into this mess. I'd like you kind of dragged me into it, but that's neither here nor there. I'm sorry about that, too. I promise you I won't tell anyone that. about this, though. Well, if I tell anyone about it, I implicate myself as well, and I don't really fancy doing that. And you're okay with the repercussions of standing up for me that night? I am. Okay. That's all I wanted to talk to you about. 